Hey everybody, this is Rachel. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in to talk about this damn debate. Y'all, am I ignorant for wanting this shit to be over soon? I'm just sick of all of this bullshit. It's, it's crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. I'm just tired of it. Tired, tired, tired. So this is not going to be a long video. God help us all. Because I just can't take no more. So I'm just going to tell y'all the highlights of what I saw when I sat through that bullshit that I sat through last night. First of all, when they walking in, you know how like when the families are walking in, why does Bill Clinton come in by himself? You know, uh, he comes in and he shakes hands with Melania and then he went down the line and shaped, shook hands with uh, Donald Trump's children of the corn, you know, he shook hands with them. And then when he goes to sit down, Chelsea and her husband comes and joins him. I don't know if it's because Chelsea wants to be with her mother, I guess up until the last point, maybe that's what it is. I just often worried, wondered about that. Then, um, you knew going in that it was a fucking chance that Donald Trump was going to bring up uh, Bill Clinton's whoring. We knew that when we when we uh, turned on the damn television. So they walk in. First thing, they didn't shake hands, which I wouldn't want to shake hands either. But prior to them coming in, Donald Trump does this little press conference where he has four of Bill Clinton's hoes seated with him, you know, bitches that Bill Clinton done had sex with. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. A couple of those, I, you know, I keep saying I'm 51, but I wasn't as into politics back then as I am now. But I do remember a couple of those just had, they were just mistresses. Them bitches wasn't raped. Now, I know that it was one of them when he was a governor, she claimed that he raped her. And then it was the one that Hillary Clinton was supposed to have, uh, to, you know, been a prosecutor in the case when she was 12 years old. Now, from what I'm understanding, Hillary didn't go out and seek this, you know, case. It was assigned to her by a judge, but, and she got her client off, so... She was wrong, you know, she was a prosecutor, so she was doing her job. Okay, so now we're at the debate. They got them bitches sitting in the front row. Now, the T was that Donald Trump wanted to have them sitting with the family. And that way, when they walked in, Bill Clinton would have been forced to shake their hands. But the debate commission said, hail to the null. We're not about to have that ghetto ass Jerry Springer shit here. Them bitches gonna take their ugly asses up there and sit the fuck down and we gonna get on with this sham of a debate. So they that's why they were not sitting with the family. So they start. Right off Anderson Cooper, he ain't even try to and I'm not gonna hit this point by point, y'all. I'm just gonna hit things that I saw that, you know, just to throw a little humor in it because I couldn't take it no goddamn more. But Anderson Cooper was not playing. <laughs> He was like, and getting to that bus, did you do what you said? Did you, what's going to do and shit on? And Donald Trump talked in and all in kind of circles and here and there. And he went all down in the valley and all around the question. And eventually he was like, no, I did not. Then Donald Trump, the next 20 minutes, he was blasting Hillary. Hillary is a woman, and I don't know why she don't got the snap back, because I would have been coming back with all kind of shit. I would have been talking about his hair, everybody, his children of the corn. They would have been like, bitch, stick to, you know, political shit. Why are you talking about his toupee? But I would have been talking about everything, y'all. Look, then why was he following her around like a fucking puppy? 
when she had went over and talked to that one man, he was so close. I was like, what the, go sit your stupid ass down. Go sit down. Go sit down. Why was he all falling all up on her like that? Now, I was reading on um, Facebook. <laughs> Somebody said that when he was wandering around, he had wandered over there and was looking at her fucking notes. <laughs> I was cracking up. They said he was looking at her fucking notes trying to see what she was going to be talking about or what she had written down. Now, they was like, you could, you could actually see it. I don't know, y'all. I saw him standing like at the back of his chair but i don't remember seeing him going over there looking at her nose but they swear up and down you can see all that if y'all saw it put it down in the comment section damn y'all let's talk about this goddamn sniffing what the fuck is wrong with him now some people said that you know he was on cocaine the man is damn 70 i don't think his motherfucking heart could take you know, hitting it up before he come out there on stage. I think what it is, is he's nervous sniffing. <laughs> that shit was funny. I was like, can somebody go get him a tissue or give him a five minute pause so he can go blow his fucking nose? And it's loud. And then what? <laughs> Do y'all know the funny thing about it? They asked that son of a bitch about his goddamn sniffing. Do y'all know he said he wasn't sniffing? Let me tell y'all one thing about Donald Trump and his lies. I'm going to give it to him. Donald Trump be like, what the fuck is you talking about? I ain't do that. He just be lying. And y'all, he could have started a sentence off. I'm just going to get y'all an example. He could have came out on the stage and said, the sky is blue. Then, you know, he finished his sentence and then, you know, Hillary say something and Hillary will say something like, well, you just say this, said the sky is blue. And he'll be like, I didn't say that. This motherfucker is, a, he just lie about everything. He lie about everything. I sometimes you, you thinking, why are you lying? We just saw it. You do it or they played the tape. You did say it, man. Why you lying? But he don't give a fuck. Donald Trump be like, look, I told you. Wouldn't he need leaks? Say, I said what I've said. Donald Trump don't be playing. He don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. He ain't lying. Then, when he gave an answer. Child, I done said in several videos. Donald Trump, Trump is your drunk uncle at the fucking family picnic now drunk uncle that had a quite a few drinks and he he want to tell his stories you know and he start off fine and y'all with him the halfway through the story you start noticing he veering off and you like what the what the fuck uncle Junior you're talking about and you know donald trump could start talking about isis and end up talking about the color of Hillary's shoes. You you be sitting up there thinking like, what, 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 where, not what? What the hell is he talking about? Last night, at first, I was sitting on the edge of my seat when this shit came on. After a while, y'all, I, I had the volume up, but I had sat back in my chair and I was checking my emails and texts and shit because after a while, it, this shit became ridiculous because, like, the only time I really paid attention was um, when the audience members were asking questions. I thought their questions were really good. Did y'all see that black man that had asked his question? Hillary answered it good. But did you see when Donald Trump had answered and he was looking at him like, motherfucker, please, I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. That shit was funny. All in all, y'all, these debates are... They're, they're pretty, they're needed because we need to see what we're getting. But here lately, these have become such a sham. Do y'all know how many debates that I've watched over the years? Now, when I was younger, my mother used to make us watch this shit. Like when we were, what, 17, 18 and stuff, 
she used to be watching it and she used to make us watch it. Now we hated her. And that's the only reason why I remember some of this stuff that happened years ago. Only because my mother used to make us watch it. Then um, when I was older, like when I got older and I wasn't living at home, you know how you know your mother going to call you and ask you, did you watch it? So you try to, you know, watch a little bit of it so you can say, well, yeah, I remember when such, such, such is because my, my mother ain't play. So I would catch a little bit of it. And that's the reason why I know, you know, a little bit more about Bill Clinton and those uh, women. Now, um, one thing I will say, a couple things I will say. Anderson Cooper and that lady Radich, I can't remember her name, I, I'm her first name, I'm sorry, but I think her last name was Radich. What I will say, they kept control over the, the um, you know, Donald Trump talking over her pretty much because he did get a chance to, you know, shut her down a couple of times. They did control the debate. And um, another thing I wanted to say is when Donald Trump was talking shit about Bill Clinton, I wish they had put the camera on Bill Clinton's face. I know that's wrong, y'all. I know that he he deserved his moment of privacy during that, but I just wanted to see, did he have that look on his face like, no, this motherfucker didn't, because Donald Trump can't talk, y'all. He was a cheating bastard. I mean, y'all... He is in no position to be talking shit about Bill Clinton because he was just as bad or worse. Donald Trump done had three wives. At least Bill Clinton only had one. Um, and he cheated. Donald Trump cheated on every one of his wives. It's facts, y'all. Facts. He full of shit. But by the time the debate ended, I was so glad that shit was over around it came on at 9 o'clock, around 10.05. I was like, when is, y'all, when is shit going to be over? Then I was like, God damn, I got 25 minutes. Because um, one thing, Hillary, I, I'm just going to give it this. Hillary is very intelligent. She knows her shit. She hasn't been around all these years and haven't learned shit. Donald Trump's answers, and y'all got to stay with me on this one. It should be confusing. Is it just me? I be sitting up here like, what the hell is he talking about? Is he drunk? He doesn't have a grasp of world events. And when he said that part about he didn't agree with uh, Mike Pence, his uh, vice pr pr uh, presidential <laughs> pick. up here like yeah he drunk he drunk <laughs> because I was like man <laughs> you supposed to fake like even if y'all don't agree that you really do he was like no mm -mm, I, I ain't talking to that motherfucker I don't know what he's talking about look here <laughs> I said what I said whatever he said don't mean nothing listen to me look at me he was like a pimp on the stage like what that motherfucker said oh no 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 why y'all listening to him y'all that shit was funny i i have to find humor in all this because again am i ignorant for wanting this shit to be over and y'all know we got another one next week now i think hillary she she ain't had no fire this time hillary was kind of laid back like a panther just sitting there like, all right, motherfucker, say what you got to say. I'm going to have to eat it. I'm going to have to, you know, swallow my pride and let you hit me because I, you know, I don't want to say too much because then you're going to go full tilt on Bill. So she she had to she had to chill in this one. Get this one under her belt. You know, she still hit him with her intelligence. intelligence. But I think in the next one, because she know it's going to be the last one, I think Hillary fire. She going to... She going to come back in there and she going to be tagging him like she was in the first debate. Because in the first debate, she had him all confused. He was sniffing uncontrollably in that one. <laughs> Y'all, I'm being funny. I'm sniffing like Donald Trump. I should have been sniffing all the way through the damn video. What the fuck is he sniffing for, y'all? I can't. I still can't understand it. Is he 
nervous or have you been hitting that cane for his, his old ass came out on the stage why is he sniffing like that what the fuck did he gonna say no I wasn't when they said uh sir you were sniffing no I wasn't and they was like okay lord and then all these um people that just are his uh those people that are his surrogates or that is that what they call them them people with some brainwashed motherfuckers and another little thing now you know he got them three children of the corn and that's by his first wife then he got this other daughter did y'all see when he tried to kiss her um that she like turned her head and like deflected she was like whoa <laughs> like what the hell they kept showing it all on the internet now here's the tea she by the second wife now y'all the tea is that the second wife might be the one that released his tax records and i think that years ago when him and her um were together towards the end there was some problems and she was going to release some stuff about him but he threatened to um i think fuck with her alimony money or her child support or something and she backed down but what they're thinking now is that she's the one that may have leaked the tax records the mother so i don't think it's a lot of good blood between the second wife's kid i think that girl's name is tiffany um she's not by his first wife ivana the one that got the three children of the corn y'all he a big old just orange fucking ugh, i don't even see what that girl see in him ugh. And then he seemed like behind closed doors, he'll be a motherfucker. He one of them type of people that you would, that once he mad at you, he seemed like he the type that hold a grudge forever. And it's going to get you back no matter what. I would not want to fuck with him. Well, y'all with that, I ain't even mean for this to be this long, but y'all have a good night. That was my debate video i i didn't want to go blow by fucking boring blow i i'm looking forward to this last one only because i hope hillary like i said come back and tag his ass and other than that that's the only reason thank y'all for watching the video and see you in the next one have a good night Bye bye